Hello guys, welcome again. In this video, I am going to share my interview experience with Qualcomm. Firstly, I applied off campus for this Qualcomm through LinkedIn. So based on my resume, I got shortlisted directly for the interview. There is no written test. But even at the end of the interview, I will share some, uh, some tips based on the discussions with my friends who attended written and cleared the written exam. So uh, first I will start with uh, my interview experience and what are all the kind of questions that were asked to me in the interview. Coming to the first question, I'm not exactly sure about the question, but based on the workspace, I mean, for me, it's happened on uh, April 18th, 2022. So based on the workspace that I have saved, I can uh, recall that the question will be something similar to uh, writing a very low code for some kind of memory management that if you want to store certain amount of data in certain locations like there is some restriction on what kind of data need to be stored on what kind of location and when to do that so based on the conditions given you need to develop a very low code for that implementation so that is the question asked to me uh, coming to the second question there are two arrays given and each array will be having 100 elements and uh, array a and array b each element of array is 10 bit wide and each element of array b is 8 bit wide now the scenario is uh, you need to do a calculation such that uh, corresponding elements of array and array b are multiplied and added like a0 b0 plus a1 b1 plus so on a99 b99 now the question is after doing this calculation the result what are the maximum number of bits what is the possibility of utmost number of bits that this result can have so that is the question there are many ways to do this you can uh, try on your own and pick one good method which will be suitable and the third question is kind of a puzzle it's like you are having a vehicle with four tires fitted and you have one more extra tire uh, uh, with you so the capacity of each tire uh, i think it's yeah it's written here it's 2000 kilometers now you have five tires with you so uh, the idea is what is the maximum distance that you can travel with the five tires that you have so the idea to this uh, question is like you need to intermediately change the tires so that you can use the entire lifetime of each tire and you can travel the maximum distance so you can also try on this and uh, you can uh, get to the solution and uh, next question is like uh, an image is given uh, with a kind of resolution or size and then the hardware processing unit is 16 by 16 it can do that and the clock frequency is given as 300 megahertz now uh, the idea is to or the question is to calculate the number of clock cycles required to process each of these 16 by 16 small block uh, so that we can able to process 30 images in one second so all the 30 images you need to process in one second for that what is the number of clock cycles you require so that is the question so you can also do this like you can uh, uh, break up the picker picture of bigger size into a smaller small small uh, party uh, blocks or pixels you can work. and then uh, you can calculate it. it's a simple mathematical thing which you can do the analysis and uh, quite a good amount of time is spent on static timing analysis and, uh, because in my resume i kept a physical design and st as my areas of interest so uh, what is setup time what is hold time why at certain edge only hold analysis is done and when setup analysis is done how the delays of the setup and hold are coming to picture why they are actually need to be considered what is meta stability and how to fix these issues in real time like uh, when you are getting a setup time or hold time violation how you what are the things that you can do to fix what are the implication of this on the end product all these kind of questions were asked here which are more kind of oral answering so there is no much workspace in here and one question um, it went on uh, uh, like calculation of the longest path and uh, what is the maximum frequency required clock frequency required to operate as, um, at what frequency it can operate without any violations and all such things and uh, the data related to each flip-flop and combination logics are uh, given well in advance since i also mentioned uh, parallel scripting knowledge in my resume um, one question on scripting is asked like you have a file of 100 lines in this format one two three four and the idea is to print all the odd number of lines line one line three line five and all 
and in the even number of lines if there is anywhere the term or the word qualcom is encountered irrespective of the case in the sense it can be either all capitals or it can be capital small like that it can be any combination so idea is to detect such type of even number of lines i mean if a line is even if it encountered or have a qualcom word then it need to be printed so that is the question and yeah uh, i uh, the uh, idea is simple that uh, we need to read the file then you need to open uh, the file uh, the file path need to be given to the handle and then you need to read each line uh, each line you need to do and i have used a count variable so that if the count is odd then it need to be printed if it is even then i am checking for the word qualcom using the regular expressions and then printing the line uh, as simple as that uh so these are all uh, the kind of uh, questions that were asked to me in the interview and uh, yeah i got uh, shortlisted uh, i mean i got selected for uh, as rtl engineer in gpu team so um, that is a pretty good experience and uh, from the interview and lots of learnings in the process of this call also and coming to written exam a uh, few tips that i can say with the discussion of my friends is like you need to good with c c++ uh because there is a separate section for c language or uh, like software related kind of questions and aptitude also is very important uh, there are like around 20 questions on aptitude which will be having uh, a general aptitude questions and some reasoning kind of questions also and paragraph questions also will be there so aptitude apart from that uh, there will be a technical section which will be having digital and all so the idea is uh, the general resources will be again uh, uh, for digital electronics gate standard knowledge is highly uh, i mean pretty much sufficient uh, if you go beyond it's always advisable but yeah at least gate standard is expected from you and then a digital ic design for professor janaki raman and pdl lectures and um, yeah these are kind of uh, some good resources and uh, gate stuff like network analysis all these kind of questions also can be asked so i hope you found something useful uh, just uh, this video is to just share the experience and to uh, throw you insight on few questions that were asked so that it would be uh, you will come to a kind of estimation like what standard of questions can be asked and how to prepare and you can uh, put yourself in the situation so that's all for this video uh, thank you very much for being with me and uh, see you in the next one thank you